Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're back to the channel for another video. Once you come in, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and you hit the notification bell. I'm going to do a little house cleaning to, like I said, we're going to reiterate the purpose of this channel. Again, this information may not mature until over a few years. A few people are, you know, coming in. I'm seeing, you know, some views here, comments here. And I noticed with the male censorship, um, I think Fresh and Fit, shout out to them. They um, Their channel has been demonetized. You notice all of the channels and the people that are canceled are all male. I'm going to reiterate that. Notice how all of the censorship, the flagging, the taking down of channels. You notice how you never see women with this outcry? Because there is an agenda you can have the likes of Cynthia G telling women to abort all black male babies and her channel stays up. How I think if you're going to if you're going to look at the terms of community and use and words, how can a person have this as a stream for more than an hour? How can this be an actual topic, a running topic and don't have anything happening to their channel? But yet you have men just simply speaking the truth and speaking truth to masculinity and men bettering themselves. How are they how are their channels flagged? Make this make sense. So you must understand the reason why a lot of you are not seeing my videos and videos alike is because of the in, uh, intentional censorship of male channels. That's what it is. You see eight, these Aiden Rosses come out of the woodwork. Uh, the Bobby Altovs who's interviewing the likes of Drake. Lil Yacht. Just out of nowhere. And I was, you know, just doing my research. And I'm going to get into the topic in just a minute. But I do want to touch on this issue. These, these people come into this game. And, and you see the connect, the complexion, right? No work. No real track record, but all of a sudden, millions of subscribers, hundreds of thousands, interviews with the top of the tier class celebrities. What? This 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 doesn't even make sense when you look at it. When Drake didn't even do an interview at the Breakfast Club, which was number one, if not top three, for at minimum five years. So he does a, a interview with a chick that comes up off of TikTok talking about she's going to pay three hundred dollars for interviews or access to celebrities. And she just ups and gets them. You have to stay woke. But with no further ado, we're going to get into the topic. Taisha Bolden. See, you notice you see these stories in your, let's say, the independent media space of Instagram facebook etc you see these crazy stories like this that involve women and you notice you have to google and search and go through links and you have to go through all of this all of the layers to get the the details yet if it was a man his name would be plastered all over the internet his face his at where where he from where he's from the school yet when it comes to women we have to look high. We have to look high and low and search. And you see this here. You have Taisha Bolden, a 34 year old eighth grade teacher or a teacher who has gotten caught up, got caught up having a love affair with an eighth grader. An eighth grader. Oh, oh it's, get, it's going to get deeper. It's going to get deeper. You have a 34 year old Taisha Bolden having a love affair with an eighth grader say it started off with text messages he said she gave him her personal number and to top it off bought him a glock a gun bought him a gun a 13 to 14 year old boy a teacher buying a eighth grade boy in which they say in the transcript there's over two thousand messages in the thread between the two do you know how many 2000 met you know what 2000 anything looks like singular not not a not two thousand a hundred dollar bills not 2050 or 20 2000 singles 
That's a lot. Not not literally, but figuratively, the pieces of paper, 2,000 single $1 bills is a lot of paper compared to 2,000 and hundreds. Yet this story is not a national headline. How is this so? Knowing the issues that face the black community, where's Dr. Umar? Where's Boyce Watkins? See, what you have now that is that is festering because the space that we're in the manosphere red pill whatever the case may be is being targeted and it is being targeted because of the message and the impact that we're having on society which is why you they assassinated kevin samuels and shortly in the same year went after uh the tates you think this is a coincidence yet we can't find these stories with taisha bolden and so many others on the front page of media headlines we have to search and look and dig for this type of information. This 34 year old teacher who deals with boys and see the destruction and the the behavior issues that come from the, the black households. Hence the fact that she would even think about buying him a gun in the first place. Knowing that he's 13 or 14 years old, possibly older because he may have been held back, which probably attributed to more of a more mature looking boy or male but nonetheless you have a 34 year old taisha bolden in milwaukee wisconsin buying guns for eighth graders that's a teacher and this is not national news so what's taking place here see what you have is a biological response to the red pill the black pill the MGTOW society is creating the new super predators and i'm going to do a series about this i know i promise you guys some series i know but i'm definitely going to do a series about this and it is going to be titled super predators and it's going to highlight the women who have been preying on men young old and in between yet they don't get tagged for being predators even though they do videos saying how dumb and how easy it is to manipulate athletes and get a baby paternity fraud they have videos out here Brittany renner did a video in her car telling women how dumb and how easy it is to get a baby and a check from an athlete goes on to do it Yet no charges, just like the diamond situation. I'm going to talk about that as well with Travis Rudolph. Lying through her fucking teeth. Not one charge brought against her and she orchestrated. Now, if this was a man who. But if you look at the other cases, uh, such as the wise sale and others, if they call a hit and a, a crime takes place, how are they charged with conspiracy? But she's not when she told him to go shoot up his place. And yet they showed up with guns to do just that. Your you have a new breed of women which are going to be the new super predators because they're responding to the response that men are giving by not dealing with them. Notice the age. 34. More likely unmarried. More likely a baby mother. More than likely. More than likely. So you're going to have the, the women who are getting up in age. See, now what they're doing is trying to decide whether to deal with the younger man versus an older man or a man in the same age bracket who she knows or is noticing he's not falling for the bullshit anymore. So she has to date down to a, mu a much more younger, uh, less intelligent male for her satisfaction sexual and emotional satisfaction that is because she's independent she's going to see again the the adaption the adaptation does not stop she far cries and say she doesn't want to pay bills she doesn't work she want a, wants a traditional man no the fuck she doesn't because she does everything in her power to make sure that she does not meet say a traditional man she makes sure that she ostracizes herself from meeting said traditional man. 
So they're adapting and saying, well, I, I have to bite the bullet since I'm in this space. I might as well enjoy it. So I'm going to do everything to make sure my needs are met. So they won't do this. They won't go 50-50 with a man, but they'll sleep with a, a married man. They'll sleep with little boys, buy them shoes and guns, but won't give uh, Tony Jones 300 on, on the bills. You can't make this shit up. Has a problem about going 50-50, but is going to spend upwards to $1,000 on a gun for a 14-year-old boy that she's sleep, secretly having sex with. Because they know the men in their age bracket do not see them as desirable. These women are turning invisible. So in their mind, them turning invisible, it gives them a green light to do things such as this. It gives them the green light to do the things that they feel they won't get caught for doing. Sleeping with men in relationships, sleeping with married men, sleeping with children. So society is bringing this, which is all why you see the agendas at play. Minor attractive persons. What the fuck is that? And we eat this food that they put in our face daily as if we supposed to accept it. But it's not going to be accepted. You can't just wake up Monday and say, hey, this man wants to go and piss in the girl in the girl's restroom. And we say, OK. No. So you have women following suit. Oh, this is OK. It is OK for me to get a much more younger man. But if it was on the other foot, the man is a predator. But she's not. These women that prey on older men. Khalees and Bill, Bill Murray. She's not she's not preying on him. Or he's not preying on her because he's what, 20 to 30 years her elder. But because they know he's not really old enough to prey on such an old woman, they leave that out of the headline. That's not a that's not a narrative. But if he was 50 and she was 23, then it would be an issue. You better wake up. And the ladies who have single, uh, you know, have children, boys, you're sending them because more more cases than not. You're not as influent as you put off. You're not rolling around in the money when you have all of this goddamn debt. You're not living this baller lifestyle. You're not Beyonce. So you're sending them to the school districts in which you have these teachers that look sweet and innocent. All of this shit. And they're preying on your boys, ruining them. And women wonder why the men of today are all this sassy. Don't want everything that they hate. Well, you have to ask the million dollar question. Who the fuck raised them? Guys, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. This is part one of the Super Predators. So we're going to get into it. It's the Date Master.